What is good, y'all? We back with another video, bro. Here we got Timmy in the cut holding the light man. Chill, 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 chill. <laughs> you got the light man, light man. So pretty much what we're gonna be installing today is some brand new wheels on the WRX. I told you just have to wait till this weekend. Brand new wheels for the WRX right here. This lighting is so bad, bro. It's so yellow. No cap, it's so yellow. Anyways, we all we do is recording right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera and show y'all the new wheels. And here are the brand new wheels, bro. Got some brand new TE30. I mean, Abby ones, bro. Abby six spoke right here. Not definitely not TE37. I did not have enough money for the TE37 because I'm a broke boy. Broke boy, broke boy. Here we gonna install these. I already did them on the other side of the car. We got Timmy in the cut right here. This is warm ass light. <laughs> Let me pretty much put these <laughs> on, the, on the car. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like after. But yeah, pretty much we, I'm gonna show you how to put step by step on how to put on the car and just document. So I already got the jack under the car, but I'm gonna tell you what the mounting point is for me. And then we got a party in this bit. Hey! And then I'm gonna show you right now. So let's get straight into it, bro. All right, the so first step I gotta do, this one should be a 19 millimeter right here. Just get a breaker bar and just break the bolts loose while well, the car's still on the ground. So it's a lot easier. So the car doesn't just start rolling, the tire doesn't start rolling. After that, go ahead and unbolt everything. Unbolt all the bolts. I don't know why this one's not coming out. All right, so where I got it is legit right behind the front wheel. It's like right under the mount right here, right behind the plate. A Pittsburgh three ton. How we gonna do? Let's go ahead. Tim, go ahead, jack up the car. <laughs> all right, after that, all you don't wanna do, put on the new wheels. Try to match up the bolt pattern as best you can before putting it on. You have to do less work. Match up the tire. Just like that. After that, all you gotta do is twist the bolts on by hand. Right, after you hand tighten them, all you want to do is get that breaker bar you just had. Get that same breaker bar for me, the lug nuts that come with uh, them industry wheels. They're actually 17, so I got a 17. You just do the same way, but go in that star pattern now. So just go and tie one side. Not too tight though, enough to wear. Oh shit, stupid me. I don't have to stop moving myself. All right, what's that? Is that one out? Oh, this one? All right, so after that, all you wanna do is get a torque wrench. I got a half inch torque wrench right here. So what you wanna do is, how do you work a torque wrench? Is you unscrew the bottom, and right here it says zero, two, four, it goes by twos. And if the zero lines up with the center line, it means whatever number that it's on right now is what it's supposed to be. So it either be 90 pounds of torque. All you gotta do is screw the zero until you see it go into the 90. All right, let's get some more. That's over 90. Put one lap down. And right there, we're at 90. 
After that, tie in the bottom. Make sure it's really good. And then put that same 17 millimeter bit back. So next step, all you gotta do is jack the car down so the wheel doesn't rotate whenever you're uh, putting the, torquing down the, the lug nuts. So from the jack, all you do is twist it to the left a little bit, very slowly, make the car down go slowly. Just like this, see, slower, slower. Then the jack goes down, slide it out, and you're good. Look at that. Look at that. The wheels are resting on the ground. Nothing's gonna move. So that's when you get the torque wrench right here and go in that star pattern I was talking about. Let me get y'all better look. Alright, so now since the car's down, all you wanna do is go in that same star pattern I told y'all. One, two, three, four, five. Y'all switch it. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna start with this top one right here. 90 pounds of torque. All you're gonna do is hold this one side right here. And go in and just keep twisting it until you hear one click. Like that. And then, if you can, slide it out. If not, just go to the left a little bit. Just press it down until you hear that. Pull it right out. And then repeat with other ones. After that, now you gotta put the center caps on. The kit does act the Avid ones, or I'm pretty sure they call it, that's just the brand with it. Uh, Avid six is what the wheels are called, I'm pretty sure. It's uh, you put the sticker on the middle cap, but I don't want to. I'd like them all black look. So just all you wanna do, hit that, and just pop it straight in, just like that. And it's already in. And also, the kit also does come with different, uh, what's it called? A replacement, not different. Uh, valve stems. So if you lose one for some reason, just take it out and put a new one in. And here it is with the new wheels right here. God, damn, this is the other side right here. I still gotta clean them a little bit. It came a little waxy. I got the matte black option. I feel like it look really good with the glossy. The car's kind of dirty right now. But since these are 18 instead of the normal 17 that Super comes with, the car is a little lifted. So I can't wait to get my suspension kit, aka coilovers, and lower it about an inch. Get that ride height looking good. But here's what the fitment is looking like from the side profile. Look straight down, everything's lines right up. Same thing with the fronts. Yep. Here it is on the other side. Look kind of crooked because I have my steering wheel turn. But it's about the same. Just like that. So now here's the old ones. Here's the old ones. So now me and Tim over there. I'm going for a little drive and see how different this really is. And I'll let y'all know right now. All right, y'all. So I just finished taking some pictures and videos with Timmy. And to be honest, y'all, driving with these new tires, you really can feel a difference, bro. Like, you really can. Because, like... Uh, it's just so much more grippy. Like it actually is so much more grippy. Like it's crazy. Like it feels so planted to the ground that like I can just easily, bro. Like not even have to worry. Like it's so good. Not bad, y'all.
next week with another mod, if not two weeks, because I still have school and I don't, I, don't, I don't know what to order next. I gotta save a little bit of cash. But yeah, bro, I'll see y'all later, bro. Oh,